Welcome back to The Great Expanse by John Bat 426 here on YouTube. So glad you guys have come back to watch these videos. I hope you've been enjoying them. If you've liked the videos, press the like button. If you disliked them, press the dislike button. If you thought they were awesome and you want to let your friends know what The Great Expanse by John Bat 426 is all about, share the video. Subscribe, please. Hit that bell for notifications. All. So whenever a new video is dropped, you'll know about it second. And I, of course, will know about it. Voice. And once again, it's a pleasure to be here before you guys. Whenever I have that space between Sunday and Tuesday, I don't know why it feels long. I don't know. But I really enjoy doing this and hopefully burnout won't come for a long time. And hopefully it won't come ever. All right. So this article jumped off the screen. Wonder Man, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, tech to lead Marvel series for Disney+. Plus. All right. So, this is the uh, the website is Deadline. Before we get to the article, I'm kind of notorious for things being comic book based. I was not a fan, and I don't know how much hate I'm gonna get for this. Okay, as great as Michael B. Jordan is as an, act as an actor, I was not a fan of him being the Human Torch because I've had 30 years of the Human Torch, Johnny Storm being a white dude who loved fast cars and was blonde haired and loved the girls, loved the ladies. I was not a fan of him being uh, ethnic swapped. Okay. I was not a fan. All right. I was not a fan of, uh, what's his name? Franklin Richards. Uh, the, I know the actor passed away. He was on a wire. His name will appear here. Who played the adopted father of Sue Storm and uh, Johnny I was not a fan of that at all. In general, I'm not a fan of gender swapping or ethnicity swapping. But Yaya Abdul Mateen, that is my man. Because he played Black Manta and he did a great job in Aquaman. Let me get to the article, then we're gonna get on more about Yaya, okay? And like I said, deadline is the site. The article is by Matt Grobar and Nelly Andriba. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Okay, there's a picture of the evil Wonder Man. Okay, exclusive coming off of some of the best reviews of his career for his work in Broadway's revival of the Pulitzer Prize winning Suzanne Laurie Parks play Top Dog slash Underdog. Yaya Abdul Mateen II is preparing to move over from DC to Marvel as the lead for the studio's Disney Plus series Wonder Man. Created by writer Stan Lee and artist Don Heck and Jack Kirby, King Kirby. Wonder Man was introduced to Marvel Comics in 1964 via the Avengers number nine. The character, otherwise known as Simon Williams, is the son of the industrialist Sanford Williams and assumes control of his munitions outfit following his passing. Seeing its successes limited when it comes into competition with Tony Stark's Stark Industries. The younger Williams gains ion-based superpowers, including super strength, while working under the villainous Baron Zemo and establishing himself as an antagonist to the Avengers, to the Avengers, excuse me, though he later decides to become part of that superhero team. The live-action Wonder Man series was first announced as entering development in June with Shang-Chi, Helmer, Destin, Danielle Creighton, and Hawkeye co-producer Andrew Guest both announcing their involvement. Creighton will direct and exec produce with Guest serving as head writer. As previously announced, the show will see the return of Oscar winner Ben Kingsley's Trevor Slattery. The supervillain turned good guy, otherwise known as the Mandarin, who appeared in Iron Man 3 and Shang-Chi. Abdul Mateen is best known in the superhero sphere for his work on HBO's Watchmen, having won his first Emmy, Emmy in 2020 for his turn as Cal Abar slash Dr. Manhattan in the show, based on the DC comic from Dave Gibbons and Alan Moore. How dare you have Dave Gibbons before Alan Moore? Shame on you. The actor first tied himself to DC with 2018's Aquaman and will reprise his role as David Kane, aka Black Manta, in the sequel, Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, which is slated for release on December 25th, 2023. Abdul Mateen has also, also has appeared in films including Ambulance, which I did not see or want to see, The Matrix Resurrections, which I avoided like COVID-19, Nia DaCosta's Candyman sequel, which I knew I wouldn't watch in 30 million years, Aaron Sorkin's Oscar-nominated drama, The Trial of the Chicago 7, Jordan Peele's second feature, Us, and Michelle, which I did see, and Michelle Gracie's The Greatest Showman, which I heard was a very good movie. 
Additional TV credits include Black Mirror and The Get Down. Other upcoming projects for the Thesp, who set up both the production company House 1110, House 1110, that's what's called, and a creative partnership with Netflix in 2021, including FX's limited series Scent of Burnt Flowers, based on Blitz Bazawuli's Bazawuli's novel, which House 1110 will produce. The Dwayne Johnson action thriller Emergency Contact, which she'll star in and exec produce. And the Amazon Studios film I Help Destroy People, based on Janet Reitman's 2021 New York Times, which she'll produce alongside Michael B. Jordan. I mentioned Michael B. Jordan earlier. Abdul Mateen is rep represented by WME, M88, and Johnson, Shapiro, Sleweth, and Cole. All right, let's chew the fat. There was a lot to digest there. I already mentioned Michael B. Jordan before I even read the article, so there's no, no point going over that again. But Trevor Slattery. I'm trying to wrap my mind around why he is still in existence. The character. Why? Marvel, Mr. Feige, Kevin, you know you shat the bed when you made the Mandarin this joke. You know that. You See, this is now... This is an act of redemption now. Now you guys are trying to make up for your foolishness with making him a joke. That's what you did in Shang-Chi by bringing him back, even though he's kind of funny in it. That's what you're doing now for this series, Wonder Man. And don't get me wrong, Sir Ben Kingsley is an awesome actor. He was in a movie called The House of Sand and Fog, which is one of the best acted movies I've ever seen. Sir Ben Kingsley is always a pleasure to watch on the screen. But as Trevor Slattery, Sir Ben, you can do better. I, I know you can do better, okay? Uh, there's another talking point that I wanted to get on. Uh, okay, right, Abdul Mateen, who the article is about. I loved him in Black Manta. Regarding Watchmen, I, I have the graphic novel, Alan Moore's Watchmen. And I'm gonna say it right here, a lot of you people already know this. Watchmen is the greatest graphic novel that's ever been done. Ever. Ever. And it's not even close. Okay? Watchmen is basically the 10 greatest graphic novels. It's It holds the top 10 rank. It's number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So whatever the next great graphic graphic novel is, it's 11th. Alright? But, and, and I'll be honest, I was really invested in Watchmen at the beginning of the series. It was only one season, I believe. Okay? I was really involved and embroiled into this world, this, uh, I don't want to say post-apocalyptic world, because after the events of New York City, where Ozymandias, spoilers, transports the squid monster that he genetically engineered himself, along with some of the world's best scientists, okay, he teleported it there, and it basically destroyed New York. Now, uh, what's his name? Looking Glass, I think was his name? He survived because he was at Coney Island. And I guess the mirrors did something to like the, the, the shockwave. So he was one of the few survivors. But after that event, I was really invested in that world. Because it, it really deals a, a lot with old racism, with new racism. I was really into it. Until Dr. Manhattan showed up. When I saw what they did with Dr. Manhattan, I was like... Boo. Two thumbs down. And I was so disappointed because I was really riding the crest of what I thought was a great series. And then it got weird and Neptune got involved or whatever planet Ozymandias was on. And then the, the Asian lady and I don't really remember too much of it so my recall might not be perfect but like her being this super brilliant person that can contact Ozzy Mandias on whatever planet he's on and bring him there. Like, it just got really wacky and really off. And the ending was just infuriating. Infuriating. Having said that, Yaya Abdul Mateen II is a ter tremendous actor. He looks great. He looks like he belongs in films. And this is my final point. When as high profile as Yaya is right now, I think it's a mistake to have him be the super villain in the Aquaman series and the lead hero in this series. I, I just don't like that. 
Okay, obviously there's no rules against it. You know, I'm not no funny business, whatever. But to be a villain in DC and then to be a hero in Marvel simultaneously, it, it, it's weird. Like, like you would have thought that DC would have would have like structured his contract a, a little more careful. You know what I mean? It's almost like being. It's almost like br the Bret Hart situation. It's like he was a WWF champion and he was signed to WCW in 1997. It's almost the same thing. So I was like, with this company, he's evil. And, and famously, in the comic books, Black Manta murdered Aquaman's young son. And that's something I do want to see on the screen. So for him to, if they're going that route, and Black Manta it becomes this nefarious character, it's like then they're going to turn around and make him the hero of one... That, that's just... To me, that would confuse a lot of viewers. Younger viewers, okay? So when I see characters like jump back and forth from Marvel and DC or be a hero here and a villain here. I, th I think they should do, they should be a little more careful with how they structure their contract so that this sort of thing won't happen again, all right? But anyway, as far as Wonder Man goes and Yaya playing him, I'll have to watch and see because like, I really don't have an opinion of it right now. I know, in my mind, I know what Wonder Man looks like. Wonder Man is a, like a brunette. He wears like the, uh, He's famous for wearing leg warmers. And he's an act he's an actor. Okay. He's really an actor, okay? Not like Trevor Slattery. But he's always been a superhero that was an actor. And in my mind, I just see a white guy with red shades on, almost like Cyclops of X-Men. But very different. Okay. So I will watch the series. Hopefully it won't disappoint me the way that other series did that I'm not gonna be mentioned here on the channel ever again. And I'm gonna go in with Optimus. Alright, so what did you think of what do you think of Yaya Abdul Mateen the second playing Wonder Man, Simon Williams, being maybe possibly being grafted to the Avengers as a result of the series? Now that'll be interesting to see him with the Avengers. And what do you think of my reaction to it? Do you agree with me or do you think I'm wrong? If so, write a dissertation in the comments if you have to. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Please visit the community tab and find out what I'm talking about or whatever. There might be polls up there, who knows? Not stripper polls, <laughs> but P-O-L-Ls. You know, so I can get you guys' opinions on things so I can hear more from you guys and rather me just come on here and just blah, blah, blah the whole time, all right? Thank you so much and thank you for helping the great expanse by John Bat 426 expand. It's in the name.